Ugh. I don't want to go to school. God, my skin is so gross today. I got makeup on, but I don't even think I know how. Wait, didn't Sierra just upload a new back to school makeup video? Hey everyone, it's your girl Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be putting my hair up and pinning it back. I'm starting off by taking a mixture of a foundation and a primer. I use the men's, men's, the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as a primer. Now, when I was in middle school, I didn't wear any makeup. So if you don't want to do foundation because it's too heavy and full coverage and you want something lighter, you can use BB creams or as I'm doing them, mixing the primer and the foundation to sheer out the coverage of it or just don't put anything on your face. I'm just going to take it and rub it into my skin. And then with my concealer, I'm just going to be taking this under my eyes and over my eyelids just to hide the veins on my eyes and such and to conceal my dark circles. Because if I was back in middle school, I would really want somebody to show me how to use concealer because I definitely needed that. I also just took it over some like acne areas just to help cover that up. And I'm going to go ahead and go over with some powder. And I'm not baking in this video just because baking is very high coverage and intense. And I just don't feel like that's necessary, especially in school. I, to this day, do usually bake. But I'm in high school and I have the time I want to. But in middle school or whatever, you know, if you're on the go, it's not necessary. And as you guys can see, I realized that I wanted to do like a cream highlight because highlight gives like youth to the face. It gives you a fresh glow. So what I did was I took a cream highlight and since I had already set my face with powder, I couldn't rub it back on. So I just took my finger and lightly dabbed it onto the highlight areas of my skin. And that would be like cheekbones, above your brow, under the brow bone, down the T-zone. Um, and the reason why I like a cream highlight is because it's a lot more natural than a powder highlight. If you guys do want to use some highlight and you have powder highlights that are in the compact, don't be shy to use that. Makeup has really much evolved to cater to more ages nowadays. And I'm just taking that cream highlight over my eyelids and I just basically put a shadow that was similar to the cream highlight over that just because since it was a cream highlight, we didn't want it to crease on the eyes. If you guys don't want to do anything on your eyelids, it's not necessary. As I say, a lot of the stuff that I do in this video isn't necessary. It's just some stuff that I think really help awaken the face and just smooth things over and that's not too heavy for anyone that's in school still, especially middle school. This is more catered to my younger viewers if I didn't mention that already. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and work on the brows. As I'm showing you guys, I have a brow gel and just some eyeshadow. I usually just take, especially if I'm doing a natural brow, um, instead of a pomade or anything thick and heavy, just take a brow gel. It can be clear, and I'm using the Maybelline one. It's a drugstore one. It's, I think, about 7 bucks, and just a brow pencil. And I'm just going to take some brown eyeshadow and stroke this through my brows. I didn't define anything at all. Um, I just wanted to give my brows some definition. From there, I'm just going to throw on some mascara onto my eyelashes. Other than that, you're going to go ahead and finish off with your lip product, whatever it be, a lipstick or a lip gloss. I just took an Avon lip gloss over my lips, and I call it a day. <laughs> Dang, girl. Looking good. What time is it? Oh, crap. I'm going to be late. Hey, everyone. As you guys can see, that's not anything nearly close to what I normally do on my channel, except for the fact that I showed you guys how to do middle school back to school makeup. I don't know what I'm calling it. It's middle school, back to school, whatever. I didn't wear makeup when I was in middle school, so I don't really expect anybody to follow this, but I know that over the years, makeup, you know, like has really grown, like the makeup industry has really grown, and I feel like a lot of makeup products have been catered to different people and what they like and want and stuff and need in a product. Um, so if you guys are in middle school, or even if you guys don't wear much makeup, or you're a freshman, going back to high school, or even if you're a fucking senior and you guys don't wear this, I don't mean... I definitely, in middle school, I didn't know anything about makeup. I think I wore like eyeliner occasionally and mascara every once in a while. Um, but I never really was much into makeup in middle school. I didn't, I didn't start doing makeup until about sophomore year of high school. So yeah, I did try to keep everything pretty low in price, drugstore products. Um, the only thing that is in drugstore would be this right here. This is $34 for the 
full size, um, but I'm not going to be buying it anytime soon. You can find like cream highlights anywhere. If you guys do want to use powder, you can do that. Um, of course, you can use anything that you guys have to recreate this look. I hope that this was simple enough. If you guys want to see more back to school makeup looks, not that I know of any, but I'm definitely thinking of doing maybe like a back to school lookbook, a back to school clothing haul, stuff like that. I guess just keep an eye out for that and of course let me know on social media what you guys want to see. I have created a new Instagram account if you guys aren't aware yet. It's underscore Sierra 1598, similar to my old Instagram but I had to go that one because it was not working anymore so. And just a quick mention, I did partner up with Soul Theory on Instagram. They are basically a monthly subscription for sunglasses and jewelry pieces. If you guys are interested in something like that, I'm going to go ahead and link them below. I do have a coupon code for 20% off. It's all caps Sierra Rose if you guys want to use that. Um, definitely check out the site, check out their Instagram page and see what they have to offer. It does look pretty cool. I did already order mine in the mail and I am waiting on it now. Each bundle is like a different size at different prices, so you start at $12.99 and you can increase in price as well as increase in the um, surprise products that you'll receive. And I guess that's it for today. As I said, just let me know what you guys want to see and what you guys think of this video. I did put a lot of work into it, so um, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.